Hi everyone, this is Phantom Phoenix and this is the GOG Galaxy client. It just entered an open beta phase and it's available for everyone who's interested. You just need to apply on their website and you'll get a response in a day or so. For those of you who don't know, this is intended to be a game client with all the popular features that Steam has. With one difference, actually more differences, but one major difference. Everything is optional. You don't have to use them if you don't want to. You can use some of them. Or you don't have to use the client at all. Since the games are still DRM free, you can just start the EXE file like you did so far. Now I want to jump straight to the point. If we take a look at the settings here, we will see some features over here that are unfortunately not available yet. But when you look at them, these are, as far as I'm concerned, these are the exact features that Steam has that are the reason that I will sometimes choose uh, running a game through Steam rather than anything else or running a game traditionally. Steam has these cool social features that you can connect with other players, you can post screenshots and they can comment and they can interact with you and while you're playing and you can discuss the game and you know, stuff like that, we all know what Steam does. And so far the Steam was the only one that has been able to provide me with that experience. But now I'm excited to see that there might be another player in that field, which I'm very much looking forward to because we don't always want to use Steam. Steam doesn't always have the best service, but I don't want to get too much into that. That's not uh, what I was what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to take a closer look at this client and show you guys what it looks like and what it does. Now, first of all, visually, when you look at it, it looks exactly like the gog.com store page. And when we take a closer look, for example, if we go to this tab that says Galaxy, we'll see the Galaxy page that we use to get Galaxy even though we are currently using Galaxy. So what this basic what this means is this is basically a browser that's browsing the actual gog.com page. Which is okay. It lo it works rather fast and it looks okay. This is the library. These are all my games. Uh, uh, it looks kind of similar to the gog page and it works pretty much in the same way. You can click this little thing here and you can install or view a store page or support. And that's pretty much it. Now, what I was curious is to actually try to run a game through it and see how that does. And I already had this game installed before I installed Galaxy and uh, after some fiddling I think I uh, used one of these options that was here to actually find the game file so it did that I didn't have to install it all over again and I could, which is a good news. So if you have some GOG games already installed, you don't have to download them at all. You just have to use the options here to find it and the game will actually update automatically all the files that need to be updated which is also a good thing and as you can see it says five minutes here which means i already tried it but uh, just so you guys can see i can run this again click play here and it runs really really fast Voila! So we can now play. Just as before. Exit. And when we uh, leave the game, we'll see it says here a few seconds ago, so it registers our playtime. So that's already one of the features already working. And the updating of the games kind of works. I think you might have to do it manually and it might not work for all games, but it kind of works. I was curious to see because I saw this little icon here that looks like a messenger of friends kind of thing. 
and it actually turns out to be just that. But it says you haven't added anybody and to add friends simply hover on any user avatar within the store section, forums, community, game reviews and click invite to friends. Now this is kind of inconvenient because it means that for now I can only add players who I don't know post on the community pages or game reviews which is not very practical I have I know a few guys that are also trying this client out and I don't know how to add them but it's nice to see that there is the option to add friends and to chat with them I suppose so that's pretty much it guys uh, this is uh, the GOG Galaxy client beta version which for now still can't do very much it's it's still a better version of a downloader basically it's good it works and uh, I don't know tell me guys what you think would you like to see some changes are there any features that they didn't think of that you would like to see in there personally I would uh, maybe improve it visually I don't like this uh, classic Windows toolbar over there with these Windows buttons I would replace them with their own but basically it looks like we might get a very good thing here and that's it for me now thank you guys for watching if you like the video hit the like button subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you later <laughs>